while scientists search for a test which would detect the AIDS antibody in blood. We lost generations of men. There's men of my generation and Michael's generation that were dropping like flies. I think Michael's contributions and those early days saved lives. I'm fine. Good to see you today as well. Good to have you as well. The number of cases in Edmonton is much lower than they would have been otherwise because of the education that we did. I used to think, try it for once, not anymore. Because with AIDS, once can be more than enough. Everybody just has to be more careful. This was at a time in, in, the, in the late 80s and early 90s when there was a lot of fear and misunderstanding. At some point, somebody had to stand up and, and put a face to this monster disease. So ask questions and make a choice because we can't afford to take a chance. And Michael, uh, being the man that he is, had the courage to step up and, and open the doors of his home to, uh, to start uh, HIV Edmonton around his kitchen table. The next day uh, after that, there was a uh, call from, from the media that went to someone else asking them what the gay community was doing about it and uh, that person said to call me. So they called me and uh, I indicated to them that we were working on it and we would get back to them. And of course we weren't working on it. The following day we got together around my table at, at my place to talk about what we would start to do. As we moved into later of, of 85, a year plus away, we realized that AIDS was not going to disappear quickly and that, that in order to do the work that needed to be done, we were going to need to become a society. In 86, we became an, an act, a separate society, the AIDS Network of Edmonton today, which is HIV Edmonton. What HIV Edmonton does now and has done since our inception really is support people living with HIV advocate on their behalf and do prevention work within the city. The first memorial took place at my deck in my place back in I think 86 maybe. Michael I'm proud to say is, has been the conscience of, of HIV. Never doubt that a small group of committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is very often the only thing that does change the world. In 1992, I was elected to the city council um, and, and, and remained there for 15 years. June 26, Gay and Lesbian Pride Day in Edmonton. Mike has been really key because he's been a prominent Edmontonian and isn't afraid to talk about uh, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered issues or talk about HIV and AIDS. You didn't start wearing the bright colored shirts till you were in City Hall. Yeah, and more or less. And I was able to indicate on a number of occasions dealing with HIV and AIDS and AIDS Awareness Day and the rest that the city should be there like everybody else because it is something that impacts citizens in this city. And here we were as an organization trying to talk to people about uh, people who were dying. I'm quite humbled and, and I think that, that myself and those of us who were involved in early days would be quite, are quite pleased to see that, that it, what we did then has made a difference. Yeah.